We are going to explore the importance of proper respiratory hygiene, teaching students to catch it, bin it and kill it using our highly popular snot gun activity. This is available in the Key Stage 1, 2 and 3 lesson plans on respiratory hygiene available at www.e-bug.eu. The lesson plans contain some useful discussion points that can encourage students to explore what they know about respiratory hygiene. Because say we cough, then the germs from our throat would come out and it'd be everywhere. Unless you coughed into like a tissue, folded it and threw it away and then washed your hands, then there wouldn't be much trace of germs. Well, if you have a tissue or you sneeze into like your sleeve, then it won't get as far as if you just let it you just sneeze without protecting it with anything. To set up this activity, join tables together to form a runway and cover them with flip chart paper. Place rulers along one side of the runway. Fill a pump action spray bottle with water and a drop of green food colouring to make your snot. You can cover the spray bottle with a character mask to represent the sneezer. While teaching students about the importance of covering coughs and sneezes, this lesson also incorporates elements of scientific working by asking students to make predictions, record observations and compare measurements. To start the activity, introduce the concept of coughs and sneezes to students. Coughing and sneezing is a way in which our body tries to get rid of any harmful microbes and particles. Harmful microbes can cause disease. When we sneeze, we can spread microbes, including harmful ones, to others. Introduce the character or spray bottle as the sneezer. Ask students to discuss how far they think its sneeze might travel, making predictions on both the length and the width of the sneeze. These can be recorded on the worksheets provided with each of the lesson plans. Students can also place a sticky note on the runway to show their guess for where the sneeze will land. Ask one student to act as the sneezer, pulling the trigger on the spray bottle while the rest of the class observes how far the sneeze travelled when it is not covered. Students should notice that some of their sticky notes are covered in snot. Students can measure how far the snot spray reached and record their observations. The students can now make a new prediction of how far and how wide the snot might go when the sneeze is covered by a hand. And then you are going to squeeze these the students should observe that the hand blocked the sneeze from travelling so far. However, they should also observe that the hand covering the sneeze is now covered in snot. Students can discuss the fact that microbes in the snot are now on their hands and can now spread to other things they touch. Look what's happening, it's spreading everywhere to everybody. She hasn't washed her hands yet. In the final part of the experiment, students observe the effects of sneezing into a tissue. Again, ask for volunteers amongst your students, for one to act as the sneezer and for the other to hold a tissue against the mask. In this condition, they should notice that the sneeze is completely contained within the tissue but that the tissue is now covered in snot. Ask students what to do with the snotty tissue and explain that it should be disposed of in the bin and the students should wash their hands. Finish by reiterating the importance of the phrase catch it, bin it, kill it. Students can record their observations on the worksheets provided. The resources also contain additional extension activities that can be used for this lesson including quizzes and word searches, or students may want to create their own posters or catchphrases to emphasise the key messages. Closing discussion points are included to consolidate the students' learning. Yeah, the hand caught most of it, not as much as the tissue, but it definitely caught more and it stopped it from going as far. Even if you don't have a tissue and you're just using your hand that isn't that, you should always just wash your hands after. All of the resources, including a step-by-step -step guide for this experiment, worksheets, suggested extension activities and discussion points can all be downloaded for free from our website. Visit www.e-bug.eu to find out more.